Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions for the near future, uh, their intentions towards you or this connection. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's jump in, sir. Angels, guys. Messages for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini in love? What's going on for Gemini? in love what's going on for gemini oh we got new beginnings you're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start it's one of my favorite cards in this deck this is my uh stellar energy oracle deck all the decks that i use are in the description box anything else for gemini sudden realization clarity truth epiphany a sudden realization has brought new clarity. So sudden realization is leading to a new beginning here. Um, bottom of the deck, patiently waiting. I think uh, all Geminis have been going through some sort of patience test. <laughs> Tell me in the comments if that's true, because we've I, I'm, I'm including myself here because I'm a Gemini sun and a Gemini Venus. And um, we just keep getting this message of divine timing and waiting and being patient and trusting and having faith. Um, so I know that, um, I'm not alone on that Gemini. So let me know in the comments because I love hearing from Geminis in the comments. Um, you guys leave some of the best comments. So what else for Gemini in love? What can Gemini expect in love? Mysterious, en enigmatic, and mystifying. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. This is from my Stellar Rainbow deck. Um... And that kitty is just so cute. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, intense, profound, and earnest. Ooh, so this is very, like, deep, uh, profound, like it says, but very, like, um, well, yeah, I guess I should use the words that are here, intense energy, but I'm getting almost, like, more than meets the eye here. Whatever's coming... Uh, in love there's something mystifying right there's something a little bit different about it so that's exciting we'll see what all of this means when I look at the tarot should I put this over here sorry tell me more for Gemini what's coming for Gemini in love what does Gemini need to know So let's break all of these down individually. I've, I've really been enjoying using this method, I guess you could say, in the readings lately, where I kind of look at every Oracle card um, on its own and get some messages. So I kind of want to keep that up. Tell me about this New Beginnings energy spirit. Can I get some clarity with this New Beginnings? Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. So some sort of an offer is definitely on its way, Gemini. It's taken a long time to get here with the Knight of Pentacles. This is something solid. This is something that lasts the test of time. This is something with potential. Can I get one more for this new beginnings energy? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's passion, desire. movement you could be dealing with a fire sign here um wow bottom of the deck we have the ace of pentacles so i feel like this is going to be very alluring that's the word i heard alluring to a gemini or to this the gemini's that i'm reading for this person is going to catch your eye or this is going to be there's something about this that's just special i feel um Okay, we'll break that down in a little bit. First, let me put down the other cards. Tell me about sudden realization. What's with this sudden realization energy? What can you tell me, Spirit for Gemini? Eight of Pentacles. I'm picturing it's almost like um, this realization is tied to effort. So someone's realizing 
or having clarity or an epiphany regarding effort. Okay, so let me get one more. What else can you tell me for sudden realization? What else for Gemini? Strength, Leo energy. It's like someone's realizing that they need to work on something or they need to put effort somewhere. I'll have to clarify that more. Four of Pentacles at the bottom here. And the Seven of Wands. So there's some sort of resistance here, or guarded energy with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Like a block here. So this, I feel, was necessary to move things forward for you or this other person. Okay, tell me about this mysterious energy, number 39. Can you tell me about this mysterious energy? Enigmatic and mystifying. Four of Pentacles. Okay, what else? Yeah, something probably has been mysterious because of this resistance or this holding back or this block. Can I get one more for mysterious? Nine of Cups. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely an offer coming and it's page is a pentacles. So it's not just feelings. It's not just like expressing love. Wow. The two of cups after that. Look at this energy. King of cups, page of pentacles, two of cups, beautiful energy. But you know, even though feelings are here, cause you know, we have the king of cups, the offer itself is not just emotions. There's something more to the offer. So that's very exciting. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign or will be dealing with a fire sign. So let's, let's clarify. We Let use this little deck that I have here. This has uprights and reverse cards in, in here. So we'll kind of get into this energies. I'm telling you this cat card, I feel like this is very important. So I can't wait to dig in over there. Okay, but let's start over here. Let's start with this uh, King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. What can you tell me about this Knight of Pentacles and King of Wands? What can you tell me for Gemini? What can you tell me about this energy? Wow, Ace of Pentacles again. Yeah, this is big, Gemini. I feel like this is a big offer coming in here. And it's it's a stable offer. So it might have taken you a long time to get to you. But it's definitely coming. Eight of Wands. Communication, movement. Like I'm, I'm picturing you talking to someone a lot, like texting. One more. Wow, the Hierophant, exactly. Taurus energy. So it's almost like this is going to lead to a commitment here. The, the direction is commitment. The path is commitment. Like this is the person you're going to be with for a long time. Justice reverse, interesting, and then the Ten of Wands. So it's almost like there, things weren't really happening for you or it wasn't really fair to you or balanced or maybe things just weren't exactly, I don't know, maybe you were in a karmic cycle or this other person was or there was just an imbalance here and now it's being corrected. Six of Swords. Yeah, there's movement to somewhere else leaving the difficulty behind and heading to something more peaceful, more balanced. I'm also getting you or this person are making a big move and that's leading to some sort of new beginning here. 
Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and Strength. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles with the Strength card. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a cycle closing here. Look at these tens. Tens are, um, it's a number about completion. Can I get one more for the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card? I feel like someone has been working on something for a long time. Ace of Swords reverse. See, it's almost like, um, and the Sun reverse. A lack of communication, a lack of clarity. Someone could have been deceiving themselves here. Ace of Cups reverse was behind that. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So something wasn't working. Three of Pentacles reverse. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, there was, okay, you or your person. I don't know, there was a third party involved. But you or, or this person that eventually um, you're connected to or are connecting with right now. Um, I feel like there was, un, uh, you know, deep sadness here with ace of cups reverse the sun reverse but also a waste of an effort or a waste of time or someone that wasn't able to put an effort in what they truly wanted i'm also picking up someone was deceiving themselves maybe pretending that things were okay or um maybe they just couldn't see maybe that's why this sudden realization card is so important because for the longest time they didn't see what situ what maybe how bad the situation was or they didn't realize um, the truth of a situation or they didn't realize that they were so unhappy um, something like that let's clarify this ace of swords reverse can I get one more please for this ace of swords reverse what's this in regards to what's this ace of swords reverse about the Knight of Wands reverse. And then again, the Three of Pentacles reverse at the bottom of the deck. Oh, geez. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords reverse? Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. Yeah, with the Chariot Reverse, Knight of Wands Reverse, someone was literally, I, I feel like someone got into a situation that was not working. Strength, courage, effort is needed now because someone I feel got in, themselves into a situation. This could be another commitment. This could be a financial mistake or something that they are feeling overwhelmed by way down by and i say someone because this could be you or your person i feel like someone got themselves into a mess and they're just now waking up to the fact that they're stuck or this was an illusion or they lied to themselves or they were deceived something like that and now they're thinking well how can i make this work with the six of pentacles how do i rebalance this big imbalance in my life I don't know why you, you, this is coming in for a reading for you. Maybe your um, feelings for you are making them think this way. Or this is the path this person's on and eventually it will lead them to you, Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed again. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Cups. Oh wait, there's another card here. Ten of Swords reversed. Another ten. But this time it's reversed, which tells me this is an ending that has already taken place. Something has already happened here. 
what I'm seeing here, it's almost like after an ending takes place, what's going to happen? I'm going to have to clarify this. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Because the Ten of Swords reverse is a card about the ending has happened, right? Now you either forgive and move on or you just move on or you cannot move on from this ending. There's, there's several interpretations there. So tell me, about, but I see here the Four of Wands. Okay, hold on. Tell me about this Ten of Swords reverse. Spirit, can I get some clarity on this Ten of Swords? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So there's an imbalance here. Patience is needed. More work is needed. More effort is needed. King of Pentacles, wow, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, King of Cups reverse, and the Ace of Wands. Interesting. So what the message I'm getting is it's going to get worse before it gets better. But why? Because we have the Nine of Cups here. So eventually there's going to be some sort of wish granted, um, emotional satisfaction, eventually. But it's first... I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, something needs to be let go of here. Some of you are dealing with a person that's already in a commitment because I have the King of Pentacles that has shown up. Four of Wands showed up. Ten of Pentacles showed up. Higher Font is here as well, although this is, I feel, more your energy, whereas this is like outside of you. It's almost like this King of Pentacles is possibly your person here. And they're trying to work with this situation that seems to have blown up in their face here. It's almost like they're prevented from putting in effort here. Or um, all of their efforts were like, there's still delays, you know. Tell me more about this um, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Three of Wands reversed. Yeah, this is a delay. This is uh, someone's being delayed. The Sun reverse. Six of Cups reverse. The Hangman reverse. Yes. I feel like this person's leaving another situation and they're delayed because of that. It's like they can't fully leave this past situation or they're still dealing with this past situation. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Justice reversed again, Libra energy. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Oh, that's way too many. Why is this Nine of Cups here? And it's funny because as soon as I get into this person's energy, they start getting all these reversals. You didn't get any. So I, it's almost like this confirmation for me that this is outside of you. This is something that is not really your energy or you're not the one truly dealing with this. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Of course, feel free to flip the roles, Gemini, if it resonates more for you. Nine of, yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's leaving another commitment and they're not fully free. Maybe this is a divorce or separation, a legal separation of some sort, or there's some sort of tie here. Yep. Death, Page of Pentacles, Reverse. So this is going to delay things, but make no mistake, I feel like this is something that has potential. It's just, you know, life is imperfect, and I feel like this person's definitely dealing with something that's not perfect. I, and I'm almost getting, it's almost like someone doesn't want your person to be happy with you. Like, they, they're they going to make it difficult for your person to be with you, because, like, it's almost like out of pettiness here. I have this King of Swords reverse, and I don't think this is your person or you. Yeah, it's like they're going to want to make them wait, or delay them as much as possible. 
Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Fool, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like when your person um, is struggling to be free or finally becomes free or tries to be free, here comes this person to cause drama. That's kind of um, disappointing, but hey, the tarot is not, this is in the movies, this is real life, and so that's usually what happens. You know, I feel like this is, this is a hater. This is someone that I feel just wants to keep your person stuck as long as possible and wants to cause problems. Um, I don't think it's because of you specifically, Gemini. It's like they don't want this person to be happy with anyone. You just happen to be the one that this person chooses. And so you become the person kind of in the way here. Tell me about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So a lot of love here. Every time that I, um, when I um, get information for you and this person, like when it, when I shift over to your energy, this is the energy that I'm getting. We'll see, can I get one more? What do we need to know about this person that Gemini is or will be dealing with spirit? Six of Cups, yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. Like, this is, like, true love. This is sweet, genuine love. This could be a past person, a past life connection, a soulmate. Um, so when it comes to you, I feel like things are peachy. You know, like, things are good. Um, this person's in love. They have a lot of genuine feelings for you, etc., etc. It's everything else that I feel is a problem here. So what's next? What's next? For Gemini and this person's spirit. What's next for Gemini and this person? What can Gemini expect in the near future? What can Gemini expect? Regarding this person, this connection. We have Seven of Pentacles. What can Gemini expect? Three of Cups. So Gemini, don't shoot the messenger, okay? Don't don't shoot the messenger. Two of Wands. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm also a Gemini. I'm on your side. <laughs> but I feel like there's going to be some sort of waiting period before you are together with this person. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a waiting period. And I, I don't think it's... I think you're still going to be kind of maybe in contact with this person. Um, but with the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, there could be, you know, it's almost like this person's still figuring out this other situation. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, um, maybe trying to rebalance the situation that they're in. Um, there's almost like a, hes not a hesitation, like a, a slight delay. Tell me more for Gemini. Let's clarify. What do we need to know, Spirit, about these energies for Gemini? Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. The sun reverse. 
what I'm getting now with this mysterious energy and this sun reverse, I feel like this person's going to try to protect you from this. I don't think this person's going to be open about the cluster beep that they're in. <laughs> I don't want to cuss on this channel. Um, it's like they don't want you to know how bad it truly is. And so there's always going to be this mm, aura of mystery around this. And I'm also getting, it makes it difficult for you to truly understand why something might not be progressing at the speed that you might want it to. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. 